Hi, this is Brian with Chicago Flyhouse, and today we're going to talk about the purpose of spreader plates in counterweight rigging system arbors. The idea of a spreader plate is to help keep the counterweight bricks in place in the event of an arbor crash. To illustrate how this works, we built a mock-up arbor. Let's go look at it. So, here we have our test arbor. Uh, we made it out of some small C-channel. We've got top and bottom. We've got the verticals made out of 3 16 wire rope, and then we have a top plate with thumb screws and a spreader plate, again, fabricated out of some small C-channel. Then we have our counterweight made out of two by fours. Obviously, this is not an arbor we would use for a real rigging situation. But for our testing purposes, it meets a lot of our needs. Wire rope on the sides will deflect similarly to how the rod would in a crash and it has the added benefit of us being able to use it multiple times, so that way we can perform the test in various situations. Now that we've looked at the arbor, let's talk about how we're gonna test this. We tested this in three different arbor configurations, landing in two different ways. So the three different arbor configurations were with no spreader plates at all, with a top plate without the thumb screws tightened, and then with a spreader plate in the middle of the weight, the top plate down with the thumb screws connected, right? And then we crash them both landing on both sides of the arbor or having the crash happen on one side of the arbor. Let's take a look at the video. So what did we learn? Well, in the first scenario where we had no spreader plates at all, a number of the bricks spilled out of the arbor, which is a very dangerous situation. At that point, the arbor becomes lighter than the load over stage. The load over stage comes down, putting all the people on stage at risk, and the arbor goes up and crashes again. Not ideal at all. In our second scenario, with just the top plate and no thumb screws, we saw the weight bounce a lot, but it stayed in the arbor. But there's nothing to say if that arbor was full that those weights wouldn't have bounced out. And the weights that we're dealing with were much lower. The whole arbor weighs only 12 pounds, less than a typical stage weight. So if we were to scale that up, it's quite conceivable that that arbor could fail in the same way that we saw in the first test. In the third scenario, where we had the center plate distributed amongst the weight and the top plate locked down with the thumb screws, all the weight stayed in place, making sure that there was no secondary crash. After an event like that, we want to make sure we have our systems inspected. So what's the takeaway from this video? Well, we've learned that spreader plates are an important safety feature in our counterweight rigging systems, that they help prevent a secondary crash in the event of a runaway. We want to make sure we install our spreader plates at the interval recommended by the manufacturer of your counterweight rigging system and lock it down every time. If your arbors don't happen to have spreader plates on them, they can still be installed. Contact a rigging professional and you can have rigging plates installed similar to these. These notch around the verticals and then get riveted together so they become a permanent part of your arbor at that point. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you have any thoughts or comments, please leave them below. And as always, if you have something you'd like us to test, send it our way and we'll try to figure out how to do it. Thank you for your time. Thank you. 